Snelling, Laguda, a second option by foot. Hartley started forward, almost got the mark in front of him. Yunan takes the catch. Great grab from Danny Yunan. Missed last week, just had a rest, was a bit sore. Starts it right, it hurdles its way back left. Bombers off and running. Morris has been consistent with the blonde throughout his oh. career. And Nash turns it over and hits Heath Hocking, lace out. Finishing been one of his strengths. Difficult conditions, breeze at his back, blowing it slightly from right to left. 25 out directly in front, and he pops it through. The Bombers have got the opening two goals. Impacted as he kicked forward. Heppel with a couple to beat. It doesn't matter. He'll take on all comers. Gathers, kicks. That'll clear everyone. He needs a bounce that's kind. He's got it. He gets one. Freakish. Best and fairest winner last year. And that's the thing. With this wind, you don't always need to have pretty ball movement. Just get it up forward. Get it nice and deep. Put pressure on the Richmond defenders. And all of a sudden, Essendon skip out to a three-goal lead. Scrubby, McNeese. Bombers go corridor, mine it, looking for options. Oh. How is this? Hocking has set up camp in forward 50 and will get the finish too. Huge from the Bomber veteran. Quick counter-attack football and Heath Hocking just bobbed up out of a sprinkler. He had so much time and space. And the former skipper, he's kicked two in the first 20 minutes. What a start from the Dons. They lead by 25 points. Um, we're really impressed with, with what he's bring, brought to the footy side. Hartley over the top takes a fantastic mark. Um, we're really excited what those players are going to look for, like up for us long term. And, um, they're really good people as well, which I think has a lot to do with it. Wonderful build up from the Bombers. Snelling gets on the end of it, goes the extra kick and Bagley will slide in and make it good. That's the best passage of play for the afternoon. An important goal into the wind. And he puts it through. Bombers win it again. Snelling gets it to Myers. Myers delivers to Hartley. He had position on Miller, just held him out. And if there's one man who could kick this into the breeze, Brownie, it's Michael Hartley. It surprised me a little bit. I understood why they threw him forward in the first quarter with the wind. I thought Dan Jordan against the wind in this second term might just play him down back, but he's given that a huge drive. Can it hold its line? Not quite, but they've got it. Heppel read it nicely, it did just drop short. He gave it a real ride on the breeze. So Aaron Heppel kicked one in the opening term. He's kicked 9-2 for the season, runs around, does it beautifully. And the Bombers kick away again. He was also in the VFL finals that year, kicked a goal in their he did. narrow grand final. Lost kicked five goals in the 2017 Heppel. VFL finals. It's a spiteful game, as you'd expect for a final. Bagley takes the advantage, sends it deep. Caulfield with a couple to beat. Hocking the spoil. Bench oh. the crumb. A huge smother, but it works its way to Hartley. And the Bombers bounce back immediately. Despite the fact Richmond have got that breeze. And thank God Richmond have Ryan Garthwaite on the last line. He's saved multiple goals. Tom and Jones gone. Wow. 50 metres, that's him. Come with me. Turns it into a goal. A gift. Contact was made to Jake Long. Looked like exaggerated contact from Long. The contact was certainly there and didn't need to be. And Lant kicks the goal as the Tiger crowd erupt. They're not giving them any clean possession. They're not allowing Richmond to play the way that they've played all year and they're getting frustrated. You argue this is the best of Dylan Lant's 10 VFL games. Coming up big in a final. Myers the clearance. Union to the front. Through hands. Miller tackled by Houlihan. Gathering Hocking, Heppel goes ground and kicks his third. Big game from the skipper. Heppel had kicked eight goals in 17 matches. He's now got three, two in this second half, and he's having the game of his life in his first final as captain, leading this club magnificently. To start the VFL final series is upstairs. Goes Zerk Thatcher. Brilliant. Nankervis starting in the ruck. Here's Heppel. Quick snap inside 50. Hartley worked his way to the front with strength. Miller had front spot. Hartley got rid of him. Michael Hartley from 45 out. Really important kick to start the second half. And the Dons are away. Quick release was clever to D. D now to Tynan. Tynan will push it towards the wing. Hartley comes out on a searching lead, takes it on the chest will wheel and go. Again, he'll thump it long. Heppel tries to get across, oh, heavy contact. 
it's one of those 50-50 calls, and it's gone the way of Heppel, who everything he's done this afternoon has been damaging, and he's kicked four. Miller had the jumper tucked. Play on the call. Yunan tries to feed it through traffic to Bagley. Back to Yunan. That was clever. The veteran for the finish. Danny Yunan with the classy finish. He kicked the first goal of the game. Just spat forward of that contest. Again, it was Essendon winning the 50-50 ball. And Yunan kicks his second. Sends this far right. Hartley and Begley there. Hartley with the mark. We've lauded him time and time again for his kicking. Usually over a distance. This requires the utmost precision. To once again answer back as Richmond try and muster a comeback. Loves it. Hartley's got himself three. Tynan instinctively comes straight off his line, pushes the kick into attack. Hartley tries to work his way through Miller. McKenna stood up in the tackle. Union navigates some space, snaps, and kicks a final special. This is a very different looking Essendon side to the one we saw last week against the Cats. Danny Union, he loves September. He can produce some miracle finishes. We've seen it in the past. Couldn't quite bring it down. Arts tries to spin through traffic. They take him down in number. And that sums up Essendon's performance this afternoon. Weller emerges from the congestion, drills it inside 50. Markov can't quite. Guccione tapped it to himself, completed the mark. His 26th touch of the afternoon. Hartley, what a presence he is. Just slightly dragged off his kick. Bounces inside 50. Naish runs into Myers. Taken down and gone. Guccione to send it back. It's going to drop short for Ayla. He's got it again. Wheels and goes. Hands it off. Tynan needs an option inside 50. What's he got? It spills. Bagley has a look. Steps inside. Goes for goal. Oh, it's an absolute beauty. Gives him the go-ahead goal. That is brilliant from the veteran. Every moment in that passage of play, Jace, it was a great call by you. 90 seconds of frenetic, intense football. 